So I think I'm going to start with this section right here. I'm just going to quickly, like, I'm not going to be trying these on necessarily. I might put some aside to try on if I'm unsure, but I'm just basically going to be like showing you guys making different piles of like Goodwill versus keeping. Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of start and go down the line and I will take you guys along with me here's the first shirt this is ann taylor i do like it but i just feel like it's not really my style like this fringy part isn't really my style and it also scoops a little too low for me so i think this is probably going to be a goodwill shirt and mom by the way if you're watching this mom if you gave me any of these and if you want them back you can have them because some of these shirts are from my mom that like she just didn't want all right i do like this shirt because this is like one of my only tank tops that i do really like for the um summertime and i just really like the color blue so i'm going to keep this one i'm gonna keep this this is like an undershirt i don't really know how i want to style or like organize the undershirts because i don't know i just feel like they're kind of all mixed together with my nice shirts keeping this maybe my undershirts can be in the front i bought this at express and i don't think i'm gonna keep this because like i don't wear these <laughs> things i think i bought it for when we were going to vegas or something and i'm just that's not something that we do now like we're more adults so i don't think that i will wear this again and i haven't worn it in a really long time like i think i wore it once really love this shirt from express it has little holes on the side so this section right here covers your bra strap area really nicely and then the back is open so again it covers your bra strap but you can see like your lower back so this is like my one raunchier <laughs> shirt and i'm gonna keep it this shirt i got from stitch fix it i got this this last summer so i'm gonna keep it i wore it on the cruise and i just really like it it's very comfortable and stretchy this is a shirt i got from dress barn i think a while ago or somewhere it doesn't really fit me anymore. It's like shrunk around this section. So I don't think I'm going to keep it just because like when I wear it, I feel very ugh, like I'm trying to squeeze into this. I do like the color and stuff. I just think that in the wash it's shrunk. Now it doesn't really fit me and it's too tight on my shoulders, which I hate that about shirts. I always get headaches whenever I have shirts like that. This one's a maybe. I'm going to hang it up over here. This is another Ann Taylor shirt. I like it. It's stretchy in the back, so I'm going to keep this one. It's good for work. I'm going to keep this one. This is from Express. Really love it. It's stretchy in the back. Cute in like army green in the front. Bought this from a boutique a long time ago, and I did like it, but it's real tight on my neck. So like this actually comes together in the back, and I never wear it because it's just real uncomfortable. Like I can never just wear this on its own. I always feel like I have to put something over it. I feel like if I only have a shirt that I want to wear underneath something else, it's kind of like, why do I have this shirt? There's a little vest, really like this vest. It's very cute. I think I got it from Thread Up. Oh, this is a free people shirt uh, vest. Really like this vest. So I'm keeping it, but I'm moving it over there. This shirt, again, it's one of the ones that shrunk in the wash a little bit. I do still love it, and I got this from Stitch Fix, I believe. So I'm going to hold on to this one because I do still like it. It's a little short, so maybe I could wear like high-waisted jeans with it. This is one that I used to love wearing back in my concert going all the time days. I haven't worn it in a long time, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. Another shirt from Express. I wore this for our um, engagement photo pictures, and it hangs off the shoulder really like it so I'm gonna keep it really like this shirt this is from I believe it's from Express and basically it's reversible so you could wear the pink side or the purple side it's a little low so I always have to wear like something underneath of it because it's just too too low on the boobs but I do really like the color gonna keep this my mom gave this to me it's like a super fun Aztec bright red shirt it's from a buyer I don't know who that is, but I really like this shirt. I'm gonna keep this shirt too. This is from Loft. It's a velvet black one. I really like wearing the wearing this shirt on Christmas Eve. I'm gonna keep this shirt already. This is Knox Rose. I really love this. It's great to wear underneath like jean jackets and stuff. This is one that I don't know. This is from Express and I just never really wear it, but I think it might be nice to have a white shirt that's nice like this that has the lace because I do like the lace. 
maybe I can hold on to this one because I do like it and I haven't worn it enough to really know how I feel about it. This is an express shirt. No, this is an apartment nine. Really love this shirt. It's like a silky see-through type material in the front, stretchy in the back. Oh no, what is all over the back of this? Oh no. Another apartment nine, same as the black one. It just has little black dots on it. This is a universal thread shirt. I love it. I just got it. I like this really yellow undershirt. This is also an undershirt from Target. It's the New Day brand and this comes high up on your neck, but I really love these fall color shirts. This is another undershirt from Old Navy. Really love these loose high neck type of undershirts. And this is another one from Old Navy. It's just the same one. It's just gray. This shirt I'm really bummed about because I got from Stitch Fix. It's the brand is Mason and Bell, but this is a like off the shoulder type of shirt and it was really cute and then it shrunk. So it's like really short on me. However, I could wear high waisted something and make it work. So I think I'm going to hold on to it because I do really love this. I love the pattern of it. I love the color. Love the little tie up here. So I'm going to hold on to it. This shirt is very much like the yellow one that I was talking about, except this is like so big and baggy and there's no tightness around the waist. So it just kind of looks like I'm drowning. Like I feel like I'm a blob. So I'm going to donate this shirt. It's a good shirt. It just feels like, it feels blobby. And I feel kind of the same way about this one. This is Knox Rose and it's velvet, but I wonder if I could like put it into my jeans and have it look good because again it's another off the shoulder shirt that doesn't have any like cinching at the waist so I think I'm gonna hold on to this one and see if I could make it work like putting it into jeans if I cannot I'm going to donate it because it's just it looks it's super cute I love the color but it doesn't like emphasize my waist enough oh this is another off the shoulder shirt very cute from Knox Rose also, I believe. So it has this like little fun detail at the bottom. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is a Rockin' Republic shirt from Kohl's. I never wear it because it has this hole in the back. Like I can't really wear it to work and stuff. So I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna donate this one. This is again a shirt, like a work shirt that I got a long time ago that it like cinches in the waist, but I never wear it because it's too, it, it's too big for me right now. Like, and it has been too big for a very long time. So I think I'm gonna donate this one. This is a really good shirt. I like this. I don't, can't tell you where it's from, where it's from because when I was in high school, fun story, I actually um, used to cut all of my tags off of my shirts. And so I would often put a hole in the shirt because I wasn't very careful. How, however, I did good with this one. There's no hole, but I like it. It's kind of like a fun summery type of shirt. So I'm going to hold on to this one. This is an express one that I think I need to try on. I'm not a huge fan of this. I was like earlier in my younger 20s, I was into this style. I think I'm going to have to try it on because I just never wear it because of this. This is a flannel from American Eagle. These are, it's so cute. It's a boyfriend fit, amazing soft flannel. These are the softest flannels I've ever had. So I'm going to put them over here. This is a shirt from, I don't remember, because guess what? I took off the tag. I'm going to donate this one. The sleeves are kind of weird. And I remember getting this in high school, but I never wear it. This is one of my favorite shirts. Oh, where's the tag? I don't know. Um, I believe this might have been from Express, but I love this shirt. I love the accent, like the gold accent. And this is just one of my favorite shirts to wear. I don't know why it's in the front though. I'm gonna have to move this farther back because I kind of have like my short sleeve stuff up here and then my like winter stuff in the back. I don't wear this because it's too tight on my shoulders. So I'm gonna donate this one. This is a shirt I love. This is from Charlotte Roos and it's the softest shirt I've ever had. It's so cozy, it ties in the front. It's basically like my airplane travel shirt because it's the comfiest oversized green shirt. This is, a shirt by my Michelle I don't wear this like and again it's there is no stretch in this and I have a hard time with that so I think I'm going to donate this one because it like gives me a headache 
halfway through wearing it. Love this shirt. I recently got this from Universal Thread at Target. I got an extra large so that it would fit in my shoulders and it wouldn't pull. Love this. It's just like a cute little alternative to a leather or a jean jacket because this actually is a little lighter weight and you can roll up the sleeves, wear it over anything. It's perfect. This is a, another plaid shirt, I believe from Maurice's. Love Maurice's. It's very cute. It's a very like soft flannel and I love the gold detailing here. So it kind of reminds me of like holidays. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm trying to organize as I go. This is a huge shirt that I feel like I probably should have in my sleepwear because this is a shirt I got in North Carolina I believe the brand is genealogy and it was like a huge thing down there it's not so much in Colorado this is the back of it and it says let's sleep under the stars see you in my dreams I love the back of it it's really oversized so I think I'm going to actually put this in my sleepwear and I've noticed that I basically just wear hoodies around the house like because I'm cold and Chris likes to keep the house a little cooler so I don't really wear shirts that are not like this Hufflepuff shirt that I wear all the time all right another shirt this is a Jennifer Lopez sweatshirt or sweater and it is the coziest it literally feels like you were putting a blanket on so and it's very much oversized I love it so I'm gonna keep it really love this shirt and I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this one it's um, from American Eagle but this is what the pattern is I think people like the pops of color and it's lightweight so it's good for the summer so I'm gonna keep this one I'm gonna get rid of this one again it's like that great little stripe like little cinch thing that I never wear all right I'm gonna get rid of this one too just like super old shirt that I have been holding on to and as you notice, I like solid colors. Like I don't really wear stuff like this anymore. This is an old navy shirt that says you had me at Merlot. I'm gonna keep this for sure. Oh, this one has so many memories. This is a Victoria's Secret shirt that Chris bought me when like for an anniversary. It might've been our second year anniversary. It's so cute. It makes me feel like a butterfly. So obviously I'm keeping it. This is an Ann Taylor shirt. I like to wear this underneath sweaters cause it's like a neutral shirt that has a little bit of sparkle. It's not just white. As you can see, I don't have a lot of white in my um, closet cause I just don't. I get it dirty real fast and I don't want that. So I'm gonna keep this. Another shirt from Maurice's. I really love this red shirt. The sleeves are long enough. It's just a very soft long sleeve shirt. This is a little uh, vest type of deal that I'm gonna keep put over here. This is a shirt from Francesca's. It kind of fits me funny like in here when I have my arms down. It like cinch is weird so I think I'm gonna try it on before I get rid of it. It reminded me of a, a hay bag like a bale of hay something that it would come in. That's why I bought it. <laughs> I was like wow this reminds me of farm and I want to try it. This is an express like little cardigan thing. I think I'm gonna try this on before I decide to keep it. This was a, a buy from thread up. I use thread up a lot by the way. This is a shirt that I've had for so long. I can't even tell you the brand because guess who took who took it off? Me. It's kind of weird, but basically this is the back of the shirt and then it has this see-through part at the bottom and then this is the front. Just doesn't fit me anymore. And like like I said, like this is I haven't cleaned out my closet like this in a long time. And these are all shirts that I used to wear probably when Chris and I started dating almost seven no, seven years ago. It's crazy. This is a Lauren Conrad shirt from Kohl's that I love. And it freaking shrunk in the wash. Very upsetting. Good thing I got an extra large because I would not have been able to wear this. But basically, this is another one that has a little tie. I love the black and yellow. It's like my theme now, basically. Yellows and oranges. I love them. So I think I could still pull this off if I wore high-waisted pants with it. Love this shirt it's a very very soft shirt from american eagle keep it my mom gave me this shirt it's from knox rose it's a long sleeve white shirt and the back has these little zigzag things so i think i'm gonna keep this one because i do like it it's very soft now we're getting into my flannels okay i actually wore this one this is from american eagle i wore this one a few days ago still really love it Wore this one not that long ago. I believe it's from Maurice's. I like the color. This is a wonderful over 
like cardigan thing. This is from Altered State. I love the colors. It's one of my favorites. It does get wrinkly pretty fast, but I love it. So I'm going to keep it. This shirt is from, I believe from Buckle and I just don't wear it anymore. Like this stuff, like having lots of beads right here isn't really my thing anymore. So I think I'm going to donate this one. This is a t-shirt from a new day. I like the white and black stripes. Going to keep this one. This is a t-shirt dress from old Navy. Really love this. So I'm going to keep this, but it probably needs to belong in my dresses. This shirt is from Marona. Again, it's like the lace sleeves and this kind of is baggy. It's, a, it's, a, it's an extra large. So this just doesn't really fit me anymore. This shirt I'm probably going to donate. Okay. This was a stitch fix shirt and I wasn't a huge fan of it. It had this little hole in the sleeve, but look, I didn't realize that some of my bathroom cleaner had bleach in it until I wore the shirt when I was cleaning and it bleached it. This is a shirt that I love. I love greens and yellows and oranges. Those are just like my kind of colors. This is a regular, just very simple green t-shirt that I'm going to keep. This is a sweater from Express. Again, who cut the tag off for this one? I'm probably not going to keep this one because it has this in the back and it's again, like it's not really something that I could wear at work. So I think I'm going to donate it. I like this shirt a lot. I think it's very cool. It's Calvin Klein. My mom gave it to me and I'm going to hold on to this one. Here is a very nice sweater that I can't tell you where it's from, but I do really like it and it has, it's like a good weight. So I'm going to keep it. This snake skin shirt thing. I'm not keeping I don't wear snakeskin. I don't wear animal print things really. This is an Ann Taylor shirt, but I just never wear it. Like the, the bottom, maybe I'm going to have to, I'm going to try this one on. Another shirt that I think I'm going to donate from apartment nine. This is an Ann Taylor shirt that again is very plain, has a little bit of a pattern that I can wear underneath shirts and cardigan. Here is a cardigan from express. I love this cardigan. So I'm going to keep it. This is a copper t-shirt that I love. That's where we go snowboarding. Love this t-shirt from American Eagle. It's very soft. Cardigan from Charlotte Russe. Love it. In the back, it opens up. We're like making progress here. This is a just pullover type shirt thing from Victoria's Secret. I think I'm going to also put this in my hoodie section. Altered State. This is another cardigan, not cardigan, flannel. This shirt I really like to wear with like black leggings. It's a little bit more of a fun kind of half shirt, half dress type of thing. So I think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of this. It's from American Eagle. It's just I've had it for forever. I tried on some clothes and now we're back. <laughs> This is one of my wonderful favorite soft from American Eagle shirts. I love this shirt so much. And then this is another black one that I love. Another one from a new day. That's a little bit more of like this teal color. Really like it. This is a, um, over like a cardigan type thing from Charlotte Russe. This is really wonderful to wear in the summertime. So I'm going to keep this one. This shirt, I think I'm going to give away because it has, I've worn it so much over the years and it's just kind of like, you know how you wear something and then you feel like the fabric and the cloth isn't as good. It's kind of how I feel about that one. This is one of my favorite shirts from American Eagle. It's a cute like pullover type thing with these on the sides. Another one that I really love. I think I got this from Rosie Days. This is a long sleeve shirt that has this in front and I can actually wear a like on days that I go to work, I can wear a little scarf and it kind of covers this a little bit more. This shirt I love, American Eagle. I always get lots of compliments on this. I think people really like the pops of green and this is kind of like a retro-y shirt that I really like. This is a long sleeve shirt from Knox Rose. I think I'm going to keep it because I do really like the length and I like the detail up here. This one, time to go. Not a huge fan of this like bright blue color. This one, I think it's time to go. I got this on thread up, but I didn't realize it was like wool and I am very sensitive to really scratchy things. So I don't want to this one and I never worn it because I have to wear a long sleeve underneath it for it to be comfortable. And then I never wear it because <laughs> it's too hot. Another wonderful soft flannel from American Eagle. 
Love this shirt from Apartment 9. This one isn't stretchy, but it's big enough. It's like an extra large so that it can sit kind of baggy on me, and I really love that. Love this Express sweater. As you guys can see, I pretty much buy from the same places. This is from Old Navy. I really like this cardigan. Um, it's a very nice neutral color. It's long, so I can wear it with leggings. This I'm going to donate. It's too short in the back. I have a very long torso. It just doesn't work to wear this when it like comes up to the middle of my back. This is from Marisa's. I think I'm going to keep it. I like the sparkles in it and I like the purple color. So I like wearing it during the holiday season. So I think I'm going to keep that. This I need to get rid of. The top right here is itchy. So I never wear it. This is a cardigan from Apartment 9. I love the detail zipper right here. It's a very nice like work type of cardigan so i'm gonna keep this one this one i really like again the zipper this one i also got from rosie days it's so incredibly soft and cozy i love this sweater love this sweater from express it has huge sleeves another cardigan from ann taylor you guys this is basically where i live it's cardigans this is a cardigan i got from universal thread along with the like jean over jacket thingy so i like this this i got from target a long time ago it's like a vest and i wear long black t-shirt underneath it it's very long so i really like wearing this guy ones i'm basically going to keep all of the rest of this stuff because i wear this stuff the most they're just all cardigans or sweaters this one's from rosie days i love this cardigan it's wonderful this is the brand per se I got this from thread up I think originally this was like over a hundred dollars and I believe I got it for like 20 or something this is my Marty McFly vest that my mom got me from Land's End <laughs> I just love wearing this it's my favorite all right you guys I still have a lot of clothes uh, but it's better here again is where we left off like i said i know it's a lot of shirts but i actually have room down here now it was completely all the way like to this side and now there's actually space in between these and those are all of the clothes that i'm getting rid of so i think i did a pretty good job if you guys would like to see another closet clean out maybe i can do more clothes from my dresser and like my dresses think that would be good so give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a closet clean out like that before i go i do want to show you guys so i'm gonna go through my jeans real fast i only have two rows of jeans and some of them have major holes in the thighs that my mom has fixed multiple times because i love them so much i'm definitely going to get more of them when i go to california in december but i'm gonna go through them with you guys real fast just so you guys know i got two and a half bags worth of clothes so it made a pretty big difference so jeans just real fast keeping these these are pistola these are from stitch fix love these pair of jeans and they're very tight like at the bottom these jeans i love my mom got me these from banana republic they're like a dark green gray and they have little stripes across the bottom they have jeans or a zipper at the bottom also i'm gonna keep these these are from lauren conrad these are my one colorful pair of jeans i like green jeans apparently love these these are capris from rock and republic also green then i have some white jeans i think I never wear white jeans because i'm terrified of any kind of like stain so I think I'm going to donate my white jeans because I like I said I never wear them because I'm scared I'm gonna sit down in something and then be walking around with something on my butt all day long I'm gonna donate those two there's another pair right here oh what's this these are express jeans I think I'm gonna keep them they're like a brown pair of jeans then the last pair up here is from a brand called celebrity pink these are fine they're itchy like this right here is itchy so i'm going to donate those now let's go to this side these are my capris really love these capris most of my jeans are either american eagle or levi's then there's this pair i think i'm gonna get rid of them this is from american eagle i think they're just too ripped like i'm kind of past the phase that 
I'm into super, super, super ripped jeans. I only want a little bit of ripped. Next is another pair that's also incredibly ripped. I think I'm going to get rid of those. And this is a brand from like H&M or something. It was like an off brand, but again, super ripped. Don't want them, never wear them. I feel like I'm too old for them. And then these are a pair of American Eagle jeans that they have a hole in the butt and this leads to bad things like your phone falling through them. So I'm gonna get rid of these. One pair of capris done. These are a pair of somewhat ripped American Eagle. Like if I had to pick a pair of jeans to wear, it'd be something like this. Ripped just a little bit, not too much though. These are a pair of just like bootleg American Eagle jeans. I never wear them anymore, so I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm pretty much only into the really thin ankle type of deal with jeans. These are Miss Me jeans. I used to wear these all the time, as you can see they're very ripped. Then these are the jeans that I wear the most. So these are a pair of Levi's. I love them, they're very skinny, very long no rips in them so I can wear them to work. Another pair, these are the, this is like my favorite black pair of pants and look, look at this. I have ripped through so many times. So I'm gonna wear them until, I'm actually gonna put them to the side and not wear them until December, but I'm not gonna throw them out yet because they're my only pair of black jeans that I can wear to work. Another pair of Levi's that are really long and just basic. They're skinny. These jeans, I love them and guess what? they're ripping in the thighs so these I'm just gonna have to throw away I really like American Eagle jeans but I prefer Levi's because they don't stretch out as much another pair of Levi's jeans they're black but they have a little bit of light to them in the bottom look like this or at the ankle I really love these they're very stretchy which I love wow that's like way better those are the green jeans that I kept. That's the one pair of longer ripped ones from American Eagle, my two Capri jeans, and then three pairs of Levi's. That's way better. Goodbye, jeans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.